In this series, we want to showcase the natural wonders that often go overlooked in our little red dot. And today, we look at an animal often unheard of. This is the Malayan Kulugu, a small mammal about the size of a young cat. They may look strange to us, but the Kulugu is perfectly suited for its environment. Kulugus live their entire lives up in the treetops. With specialized claws, they cling effortlessly onto tree bark. Their fur pattern giving them excellent natural camouflage against predators. Male and female Kulugus tend to look slightly different. This is known as sexual dimorphism. Females tend to have a greyish white coat, while males are a reddish brown. Living a life in the treetops, Kalugos have developed a unique way of getting around. First, they get higher and higher up a tree through a series of small hops. Then, they take to the air. Folds of extra skin unfurl to form a gliding membrane. Lugos actually have the most extensive gliding membrane of any gliding mammal. Kulugos fly from tree to tree in search of young leaves. The kulugo is a folivore, meaning its primary diet consists specifically of leaves. However, leaves are notoriously difficult to digest. To combat this, Kulugos, like this young male, browse specifically for the youngest and greenest of leaves. They provide him with the most digestible nutrients for his diet. Having such an extensive gliding membrane does come with its own problems. Like when the Kulugo needs to relieve itself, they have to lift their tails onto their back to defecate. Their large eyes help them judge depth when they glide, but also help them see well in the dark. So little is known about the Kulugo in fact, that scientists don't exactly know why they lick tree bark like this. Though they believe they do it to obtain vital moisture, nutrients, minerals and salts. Kulugos can breed all year round, and after a gestation period of 8 weeks, a baby Kulugo emerges underdeveloped and clings onto the mother for the first six months of life. Mothers curl up their tails, forming a warm, safe pouch. An incredible way of tending to the young, which is almost marsupial-like. Kulugos live mainly solitary lives. Sometimes, however, on rare occasions, more than one Kulugo can be seen on a single branch. And in this case, a family tends to its young. The Kulugo is only one example of the truly fascinating wildlife that call our forest home. In our urban world, many amazing species go unnoticed. Our goal is to give them a stage to tell the stories in hopes of raising support for the green initiatives that serve to protect them. And 
encroachment onto nature is inevitable, but it is in striking a balance that we can help to preserve the wildlife that still lives here.